हेलो हेलो नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं विवेक बजाज आपका मित्र को फाउंडर स्टॉकेज और रीलर मार्केट का हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विवेक बजाज आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो इन कपल ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑफ फेस टू फेस वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट रूल बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग दोस्तों जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि कुछ वीडियो से मैं फोकस कर रहा हूँ रूल बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग पे और मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ ऐसे ट्रेडर्स का इंटरव्यू लू या उनसे चर्चा करूं जो प्योरली रूल बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग को फॉलो करते हैं और ओवरऑल जो ओवरऑल इंटरव्यूज मैंने किया है जो कंटेंट मैंने रिकॉर्ड किया है काफी इंटरेस्टिंग रहा है पीपल आर रियली लाइक इट सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग दीज कॉन्टेंट एंड स्प्रेडिंग इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली रूल बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग इज एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन मार्केट फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम previous few videos we have purely uh, focused on setting up the process for you explaining how a rule based trading can be applied and this video is again going to be an extension of previous two three videos except that previous two three videos were on hindi and i gave you an english transcript but this video is going to be in english and this is definitely going to be very very interesting video for people who are interested in setting up the process of rule based trading for themselves so i thought um, i should invite someone who has been there done that who understands this process very well who has product which he has developed for people also to adapt that process so i'm very glad that today face to face will be with a person who understand things pretty well so let me invite you kiru as part of today's interaction on rule based trading <coughs> kiru hi Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? All well, all well. So I've taken the liberty to use a shorter form of your name. I hope it is fine with you. Not at all a problem. It's really difficult to pronounce Kribakar and Rajendra, so even I prefer Kiru. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So Kiru, uh, I don't know how many how many videos of face to face you have seen, but if you see for the last couple of videos, I've been just focused on rule based trading and. You know, I recorded a video with Vishal, uh, who happened to be a good friend of yours, and yes. Vishal said that who better than Kiru to talk about rule-based trading and how to do it. So here we are recording this awesome content with you. That's great. Thanks for having me on this show, Vivek. And yeah, I've been watching you know face to face for a couple of last couple of weeks, and the emphasis that you have given on rule-based trading is really really important because ninety-five percent of the traders fail. because only because they specifically trade based on random strategies or you know completely based on news based so the moment people move from news based to rule based everything gets changed so i really like that you have been giving importance to rule based trading so and even this session will definitely cover all the important aspects about rule based trading definitely people will find it useful i hope so absolutely i'm 100% confident about it so before we start uh, the content discussions the strategy discussion friends i'm going to tell you that Uh, Kiru has uh, has agreed to share some strategies also. So in the later part of the presentation, you will see some strategies we actually he is using and he's going to share with us. So hang on till the end. This video can be an extended video. So I hope you will stay till the end to take advantage of those strategies. But before we get into that, Kiru, we want to know about you, your experience of life, and uh, why you are doing what you are doing right now. Sure. Actually, I started trading in the year 2008, like when I was in the final years of college, and that is when I started trading. And back then, 10 to 12 years before, uh, we don't have that much of resources. Back then, the resources were very limited. Now we have so much of resources, people get confused. So back then, when I started trading, like it all started in the year 2008 when I started going. Like it was in the final year of my college, where I have to travel 30 minutes of my time. to bus like i have to take a government bus basically i am from a you know most middle class family where my father worked as a clerk and my mom worked as a tailor so it was really hard during my early stage to give a proper education so finally when i was able to you know get into loyola college i graduated from loyola college from statistics so that is when i actually started getting into the markets so there was almost a 30 minutes of travel from my home to my college so one day i started reading uh, economic times so mm-hmm. that was the first start so i started reading economic times and day one i did not understand anything it was completely new to me i couldn't understand any of the jargons mentioned there 
then slowly you know this 30 minutes of travel which i do every day from my home to college i started reading more and more this economic times and whichever i do not understand i go back home at the end of the day and started reading about it and that is how it started the complete reading journey started and just like most of us back then years back we i opened an account with sheka and then i started trading there so most of the people when they start opening an account 10 years before it was 99% it will be with sheka now it will be with zeroda there at that time it will be with sheka so i started trading then then um, eventually i started i mean i was uh, accepted in the campus interview in infosys so i moved to infosys and until then i was all uh, you know 2008 i was just starting trading and it was just two weeks of time and the big crash happened the global financial crisis that happened in 2008 started just after i you know started trading two weeks and i lost all my capital then i started my uh, journey after i joined infosys so in infosys that is when i started giving importance to automation like how it happened was in infosys it was a, a routine job you have to log in every day and do the same work throughout the day and i was supporting some american client so i was working in the night and then i was you no know, tracking the markets in the morning so that is how it started then what happened was i thought okay if i could automate this routine task i'll get more time reading the markets so mm-hmm. i do not know more, know more about uh, computer science and coding because i'm from non computer science background since i'm from statistics i do not know any coding so i started googling and learned myself all this coding stuff mm-hmm. i started automating the normal routine tasks that i usually do so then it gave me so much of time and started reading more about markets then one day i started reading a book called how i made 2 million dollars by nicholas dalvas mm-hmm. so that was the first book that i read which was completely rule based book so which you know it is all about a dancer who traveled all the way in the you know, all around the world and he was able to make millions of dollars in 1970s 80s and that was a completely you know an enlightenment for me like how a guy who is who does not have any background for markets if he could make money then definitely anyone could make money following a rule based mechanics mm-hmm. so from 2000 even though i started trading from 2008 only from 2014 i started getting into uh, a rule based trading from news based trading so everything then changed slowly so that is how my complete trading journey started fantastic uh, so right now obviously you are not working with any other firm and now you are a full time trader and obviously an entrepreneur now right 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 i quit my job in 2017 so i almost worked for 10 12 years in it then i quit my job then started focusing on both the things okay we'll uh, focus on algo trading because once you do this algo trading and you start thinking okay if this is really helpful for one trader definitely it could help all other traders so i started quitting the job and you know focused on this square of square of dotin is my website which you know it's completely focused on algo trading so me and one more uh, my partner you know we both together we started this firm so he is actually from you no know, big spilani but we do not know each other like i was starting up this company and i was running it on my own but this guy who is from you no know, banking background all of us then he quit his job and he was you no know, ready to join me so a guy who i do not know about anyone all of us then quit his job and started joining with me and you no know, we started together so that is how square of dotin started fantastic your story is like a boy next door uh, with lot of aspirations and doing the right thing at the right time fantastic So let me just uh, share, uh, make you the presenter now, and you can start that sure. uh, knowledge sharing exercise with us. Sure, I'll start. Fine. So as I gave, you know, gave an explanation. I think most of the things I have introduction, I have covered it. So we'll start with the agenda of this session. So what we are specifically going to cover in this session is how to create a trading strategy, and how to backtest it, and finally how to automate it, and then the list of mistakes that as a trader we should avoid it so these are the complete things we are going to you know focus one by one on a slide to slide basis in case we make if you have any specific questions you can you know drum stop me i'll try to explain that part if in case i'm going okay. fast that i am quite in famous to do that so you should <laughs> expect a lot of interruptions from me <laughs> fine so the first thing is we i can definitely say data is the new oil so even uh, no reliance mr mukesh ambani he even would acknowledge that because that is why he moved from petroleum to you know reliance geo now so most of the things that you know currently we are doing and what we were doing earlier is completely different now because when i started trading warren buffett was the only person like most of us whoever you no know, started trading at the beginning stage 
most of us would know definitely Warren Buffett. Everybody knows Warren Buffett. But the the main thing with Warren Buffett was he'll always emphasize on reading about the balance sheets, looking into the company's business, like only invest in the company if you understood it. Definitely he's a successful investor, but no, it's completely all about fundamentals. So 10 to 20 years before, people were discussing all about balance sheets, fundamental analysis. But when I started trading in 2014, uh, Jim Simons is one you know, who completely changed my uh, thought process. Jim Simons is also a famous you know, a trader from investor who runs an hedge fund. But with regard to this, what differentiates Jim Simons from Warren Buffett is Jim Simons is a only person 30 years before who started giving importance to quant based trading or investing. So he was a, he is basically a PhD in mathematics who was working with the National Security Agency in the US. Like he was actually worked with intelligence and then he quit his job and started focusing on markets in 1980s. So since 1980s, he is the only you know, hedge fund guy. So he runs a hedge fund called Renaissance Technologies. So this hedge fund completely focused only on data driven. So when he started this hedge fund, he was able to collect 100, 200 years of Dow Jones and you know, American historical data. And they were able to repeat, repeatedly search for uh, patterns which can appear you know, over a longer period of time. So they were search, you know, basically looking for certain repeated patterns which can happen in large data sets. And finally, they were able to create strategies out of it. So that is how Jim Simon started his hedge fund. And Renaissance Technologies hedge fund the Medellin Fund is one of the most performing top hedge funds in the world because they were able to give consistent positive returns year on year for the last 20 30 years and with very least to draw down. And their trading duration you no know, changes from few minutes, few seconds to just maximum two or three days. So, yeah. Warren Buffett, who is basically a long term investor, here uh, Jim Simons, who is a short term uh, trader. So, this guy you know, um, gave a belief that okay, even Trading money I and mean, making money in trading is also possible. Trading money in investing is also possible. We just have to follow the right rules so that you no, know, it's not like only trading is good or only investing is good. Both are good if you follow the right approach. True. So then, that is when you know, all this uh, data analysis, you no know, data analytics, and all the importance of giving to data started. So then, uh, I remember in 2018, I guess, yeah, in 2018, uh, I could remember S Bank and DHFL. Both of this stock crashed more than 40 percent in one single day. I remember it was I was actually trading that day, and I could see in both all the news and all in channels, it was only DHFL and S Bank, and a stock like DHFL and S Bank crashing more than 40 percent in one single day is a huge thing, because until then it was called as a fundamentally you know strong stock, but when it crashes more than 30 or 40 percent in one single day, like people started panicking, and more and more people, and since it was not a part of no i mean it since it's a part of fno stock there was no circuit builder so it started going down rapidly by the end of the day it almost crashed 40 percent and closed so that day what i did was instead of you no know, looking for reasons why it has fallen down or why you know this kind of crash happened i immediately look out the past historical data sets. so what i did was i checked what are the list of stocks which has crashed more than 40 percent in one single day and what happened to those stocks eventually three years or five years down the line. So if I could get this specific data analysis, then I'll have an idea what could happen to DHFL and SPAC. So that was the idea. So when I started searching for it, then eight to 10 stocks came in my list. Stocks like Saturn Computers, Financial Technologies, Core Education. So these are the 10, some 10 to 12 stocks which came up in list which crashed more than 40% in one single day. Then I looked into a chart, what has happened to these stocks eventually. So after the crash, if you could see, after the crash, all these stocks started going down only. It couldn't go back to its previous high at all. So yeah. Financial technology, core education, GTL. So all these stocks which crashed more than 40%, eventually started trading as a penny stock. Yeah. So I I, I was actually, I'm very active in Quora where I you know, keep writing multiple articles and share multiple articles related to trading and investing. So I posted this content on the same day stating that this specific data analysis states that DHFL could also fall into the same trap. It can eventually get into a penny stock. So people you know, I, who have, you know all these followers who are you know, following me on Quora, I told them it's better to avoid this uh, stock because it's like catching a falling knife. 
so better to stay away from that stock but obviously people add this belief of fundamental thing in their mind because it has a good loan book and all this fundamental part was there but when a big institutions and huge fund houses they see some corporate governance issue they'll immediately come out of it as soon as they see a smoke they'll come out of it they don't really wait for the fire but we yeah. retail investors always know wait for the news and then we validate it and then we try to come out of it but by the time we realize that it is no bad the damage would have been already too bad so that is what actually happened with the dhf so eventually both the dhfl and s bank is completely you not know, down to a penny stock now so this is one simple data analysis where i did not you know take much time no coding nothing is needed all we have to do is find out what happened in the past and compare it with you know the current scenario and there is a higher probability there is not an 100% sure but there is a higher probability that the similar thing could happen so this is why data is really really important when you come with you no know, rule based trading so with yeah. past historical data analysis can you no know, help the retail investors to take a wise decision so whether you are a new investor or an existing investor if someone did this analysis if he was you no know, holding a s bank or dhfl bank I mean, DHF, you would have been out by 50% loss, but now it is 90% loss. So that is why it is not necessary to wait for the news. Instead, we can go and do all this data analysis and come up to a conclusion. Okay. Yeah. And the next thing is with regards to trading, why 95% of the traders don't know, I mean, fail or no, not able to make money in the markets is because most of them don't follow a trading steps. Even I was like that when I started trading. So when a guy who moves from news based to rule based trading that is the first part like if even if we ask all these traders who follow trading strategy are they making profits no we can't say everyone is making profit because even though you have a trading strategy you should have a discipline to stick to the trading strategy so that discipline comes not based on what you're doing inside the market trading hours what you do outside the market hours so most people know i would say a guy who is a fitness freak or a guy who is going regularly going to a gym or not guy who is going for a jogging or a cycling if that guy is a regular fitness freak he has a higher probability to become you no know, profitable in a trading journey because he is so disciplined outside his life at that same discipline will come to the market also so you can't you no know, be disciplined in market and after the market hours if you don't follow a you no know, strict discipline guidance definitely it will not help so what we are outside the market hours is what going to determine what you can be whether be successful or not in during the market hours so why trading discipline is so hard so those things we'll also cover in the coming slides and finally the position size so trading strategy discipline and position size these three are the most important part with respect to a rule based trading so i'll explain all this position sizing rules also so because in position size even though you have a trading strategy even though you have a right discipline to follow the strategy if you do not follow proper position sizing like if you are risking too much you are going to blow out if you are risking very low you are not going to make any you no know, reasonable returns so we should know how much is too much and accordingly we should position size our rules so yeah. i'll explain the part so so this one winning accuracy so if i ask you vivek so what would you say so do you think winning accuracy is really important in trading oh now that i've spent so many years in market i have realized that uh, actually winning accuracy is not such an important thing even with a 30 40% accuracy you can still make lot of money very true But very true general, general perception is that yes you should be 70% accurate to make money from the market which is actually a misnomer very true because you no know, even i i have spoken to more than 5000 to 6000 number of users after i started this for of and most of the first question most of them ask is what is the winning accuracy and the second uh, thing they ask is how much i can make nobody asks how much i can lose yeah. and everyone asks how much i can how, how much i can gain yeah. so the, the thing with the trading strategy is it's not whether you're right or wrong that is important but how much you make when you're right and how much you lose when you're wrong that determines your overall profitability so that is what george soros also said so when you specifically focus on winning accuracy i'll explain with an example why winning accuracy is the no least important part so as you could see in this slide we have three different trading systems a system 1 with 90% accuracy system 2 with 10% winning accuracy and system 3 with 50% winning accuracy okay so i'll show you i'll show you why 
know this 90% accuracy is not really matters. See, when, with 90% accuracy, when you are right, you are making 1000 rupees profit. You are 90 of the time you are making 1000 rupees profit and you are happy with it. But the 10% of the time you are losing 10,000 rupees. Consider that happens very rarely. And most of the people, you know, like say, suppose if someone is selling an OTM options during the expiry day, who is shorting 5 rupees or 10 rupees naked OTM options, that is what is expected outcome. Like you'll be seeing, okay, market, uh, I'm making able to make 1000 rupees profit on an expiry to expiry basis. And 90% of the time I'm able to make it. But the remaining 1% of the time, say, suppose it is a Brexit day or a demonetization day or any other black swan event, would wipe out all his you know, profits. So a guy with 90% accuracy, even though he's able to make profits 90% of the time, after 100 trades, if you check the you known, the complete uh, outcome after 100 trades, is net negative so even though with 90 percent accuracy system you cannot make profits if your average profit is much lesser than your average loss yep. so that is not on the longer run so we, we can forget about the winning accuracy even with the 10 percent winning accuracy this is a 10 percent winning accuracy system where after 100 trades you are right only 10 percent of the time the remaining 90 trades you're going to lose but if you check the average profit per trade when you're right, you're making 10,000 rupees profit. And when you're lost, I mean, when you're making loss, you're losing only 1,000. So after 100 trades, it is still a profitable trades. Only drawback with this kind of least winning accuracy system. You can see it statistically it is good. But for uh, psychology wise, nobody can withstand a 90% you know, losing streaks. So obviously, after three or four losing streaks, we'll stop it. So even though statistically the system two is profitable, psychologically it is difficult to trade. The first like example would be the you know, system three, which has only 50% accuracy, where average profit when you're making profit, it is 2,000 rupees profit. And average loss, you have only 1,000 rupees. So after 100 trades, if you check the total trading outcome, 50% accuracy has given a positive outcome because you're able to make 50,000 rupees profit at the end of 100 trades. So 90% accuracy, a 10% accuracy, and the 50% accuracy. But when you compare the total trading outcome after 100 trades, system three is the better one because you are making higher profits when you are right, and you are making minimal loss when you are wrong. So that is yeah. what really important, not the actual winning accuracy. Yeah. So we'll uh, come up and I'll explain the uh, trading strategy part now. So it is when I, I said earlier as I'm a working professional back then. So most of my thought process would be like what a working professional can not trade, like how a working professional can trade, you know, managing his day job as well as a trading. So most of the trading strategies that I create will be based on their mentality. So even this specific strategy is an option selling strategy, a positional strategy, which doesn't need assistance at all. So you don't need to uh, look into the markets, you don't need to you know, scan for the prices, you don't need to look for OAI, gamma, weeks, nothing is needed. It's completely price based. All you need to do is spend 10 minutes of your time and you know, analyze and think. So that is what this is all about. I'll explain the step by step course along with what the backtest results and drawdowns and everything. So, this is an option selling strategy. And first thing is, you do really don't need to monitor any of the charts, it is purely price based and it primarily works based on theta decay. So, the basic assumption between, I mean, based on in this strategy is we know options expire worthless and it expire faster or the premium decays faster the closer it is to the expiry so we are going to initiate this trade just two days before the expiry and on the weekly expiry so the rules of the system is we are going to initiate the trade on tuesday and close it on thursday and no trade on any other days and it is a pure positional system and the rules is by tuesday 9 30 a.m find out what is the bank nifty's atm i mean what is the bank nifty's price at 9 30 and then see what is the atm say suppose by 9 30 tuesday bank nifty is trading at 30000 then we are going to short 30000 call option and 30000 put option atm straddles based on the spot price whatever the price that you short that and based on that we are going to keep a hundred percent stop loss say suppose you have shorted at 100 rupees then your stop loss is 200 rupees. 
if you have shorted at 200 your stop loss is 400 so based on your entry your stop loss is going to vary and that is going to be an 100 percent because we are going to keep a wider movement for the markets to move if you keep 10 percent 15 percent those stop loss can hit on an intraday basis itself so we keep a wide margin so that even if there is a slight gap up or slight gap down it will not affect us so we'll keep 100 percent stop loss based on entry price and then if the stop loss is not hit we are going to exit by the end of expiry if the stop loss is hit in any of the legs say suppose call option stop loss is hit we will close only the call option not the put option we will continue to run the put option then finally we will close that put option by the end of expiry so the rules are straightforward you initiate your trade on tuesday 9 30 am atm strikes of ce and pe based on the time it is spot price and as soon as you shorted it place an 100% stop loss and then you will exit it by the end of expiry so when you so this is a live uh, no trade example for the last week expiry if you could see we have shorted 31000 pe and 31000 ce so that was the strike price we have chosen and the 31000 pe where the 500 options expired worthless it almost went to zero so we made a profit there the ce however it, it's a stop loss so we shorted at 510 but it closed at 1000 rupees so obviously we ended up in loss but the other two one like the other two expiries we shorted at 450 rupees the 32800 p 32800 c which we initiated on tuesday and we closed it on thursday and both the options decayed it, it could be because magnetic did not move much during that week so it decayed and it made a profit similarly the prior week also the same thing the P completely decayed, C decayed to an extent. We shot it at 490 and it ended up on 156. Still, it was overall profits. So, Kiru, so uh, you, this, this strategy takes how much capital? This strategy would take approximately around 2 lakhs to 2.5 lakhs capital. Uh, when you are selling one lot of call and one lot of put uh, together, it yeah. will take too much capital. There is no margin benefit when you do that because you are not going to hedge it right so the straight away straddle would cost you around 1.7 lakhs so if you are hedging it with far away otm options then yeah. you can not control the the margin could be greatly reduced mm -hmm. considering that even with the 2. lakhs or 3 lakhs i mean 2 to 2.5 lakhs capital this would definitely give a higher returns if you add the hedging part definitely the returns could be much more but i'm explaining with only the, the stop loss part and the most important part that needs to be covered with this one is what if in case of there is a huge gap so we are shorting and then keeping 100% stop loss that is fine but what if in case of the goes down a lot or goes up a lot and that is what happened in this example if you could see last year on may we shorted you know both c and p but the put option entered you no know, almost expired to zero but the call option which we shorted at 3 rupees was closed at 1352 rupees so it almost 300 rupees of loss so even these scenarios is also considered in the back test so it is not that no there is a, a bias in, towards this data so even a data like so with 300 rupees you're shorting it we are not considering it as closing at 600 instead we are checking at what price the market opened so we did not even consider 915 price we consider 960 it was the first minute candle would be used to dip or huge move so obviously you can't capture it so even considering a worst case scenario still you know these kind of losses are considered and overall if you check it ends up in overall profits i'll explain what is the overall year by year profits yeah. and month by wise profits also <laughs> this is what i so i have backtested it for four five years but i have taken a you know, data of 13 years and checked how much percentage the market has gapped so we are we are always you no know, used to Black Friday and Black Monday, but we hardly you know listen, listen to a I mean get used to Black Tuesday or Black Wednesday. So most of these huge gaps happens at the end of Friday or at the start of Monday. During this oh. week, we initiate a trade Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. These are the periods. It could be you know a little silent period. So when I check the last 13 years of data, I could see market did not you know gap very huge. It stayed between minus six to plus six percent. And those you know, most of the years where there was a huge gap up and gap down was in the year 2020. So that is obviously covered in our back test. So we don't need to be you know, too much worried. Because bank mixing weekly contract was not there. 
that's why black friday and black monday was there because thursday has become such a uh, such an event these days that you can see volatility in bank nifty in the middle of the week right 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 right, right. because bank nifty started only in the year 2016 may and uh, no prior to that it was only a monthly and and second most important point is we have considered in this positional trade a month not a monthly expiry a weekly expiry because if you have considered a monthly expiry you are going to make only one trade a month so it's just 12 trades a year but with weekly expiry you are just making four trades in one month so obviously your profits gets increased with weekly expiry and decrease also much faster than weekly expiry so when we tested it with you know the complete data sets of last from 2017 to till date it has generated almost around 5.7 lakhs profit with you know a maximum loss for a trade is around 23000 or 28000 is a maximum no profit and maximum loss is 23000 and the consistent winning streaks is almost 9 expiries so 9 expiries back to back you are able to make profit and there are four only four expiries you have lost consistently and the overall winning accuracy is almost 63% of the strategy. And if we check the drawdown, so drawdown is nothing but what is the percentage of loss that happens over a period of time, not just in one trade or two trades, it just happens over a period of time. So the drawdown is just around 20 or 22,000. So that is the maximum drawdown we have faced during the complete you know, testing phases. So considering all this, uh, all the black sun events, all this corona gap out and gap down, still your maximum risk did not exceed more than 25,000 per lot. So this is a yearly distribution chart of the you know, overall uh, pain and look like of for this strategy. So we shorted only one lot, one lot C and one lot P. So back then, like in 2017, 16, all these years, even with 40,000 or 50,000 capital, one can trade the strategy. But now, because of SEBI's you no know, increased in rule margin, so the capital minimum capital required or the margin required to trade the strategy is almost 1.7 lakhs as of today, based on bank nifty. I mean, based on bank nifty price. So most people, what they think is okay, I have two lakhs of capital and the required margin is only 1.7. So let me trade with one lot. Or if they, if I have four lakhs of capital, I can trade two lots because the margin required is you no know, 1.7. So I can trade two lots. But that is not at all the right way. To calculate you know, the required capital so the first and foremost thing what you have to check is what is the maximum drawdown of this strategy so as per this strategy we saw that the maximum drawdown is 25,000 right. so what we have to do is consider three times of the maximum drawdown if your drawdown is 20,000 consider 60,000 as your drawdown if your drawdown is 10,000 consider 30,000 as drawdown so we are going to have an adequate buffer capital to handle the maximum drawdown because we have to always remember maximum drawdown happens in the future, not in the past. So if you see 10,000, that is not the maximum drawdown. Definitely it would be 12, definitely it would be 15 down the line. So we are prepared with 3x of max drawdown. So that is how I calculated the you know, capital required to trade this strategy. So the margin is 1.7 lakhs and the maximum drawdown is 25,000. So we are you now prepared to have a 75,000 of drawdown. So altogether 2.4 to 2.5 lakhs is the required capital to trade this strategy. So even if we considering a 2.5 lakhs of you know, total uh, capital, it has given a decent returns of 29%, 34, 58, and 75. On an average, it has given 45% yearly returns. And that is really, really good with consideration of just one trade a week and spending just 10 minutes of your time, no needs of chart. So with very least minimal interventions, definitely we are able to make you know, a good returns. And second best thing is even if someone who's having a stock holding is in their account, they can simply pledge their long term holdings and just have only this drawdown capital as cash and trade the strategy regularly because you don't need to know even bring in additional capital. So, uh, Kiru, you have explained this strategy. It's a very simple strategy, but what's the risk? It can't be so simple. Money making can't be so simple. No? That is that is why I always say the simple things do wonder in markets. But most of the people don't look into the simple things. They always want complicated stuff. They always want no more number of charts and more number of steps. But simple things really do wonders. But most people don't even test it. So even if you test it with you know the right data sets, or even if you try to do it with the larger data sets, over the long run, definitely it is going to be a profitable one. So whatever the strategies, like I'll to tell you at the end of the slide, like how the you no know, people who are using the trading bots made profits only following a simplified simplified strategies. But most of them they tend to ignore it. 
so because when we you know try to explain about a simple strategy the first thing that comes in our mind is this is so simple how could people make money with this strategy so that is the first thing that will you know come into my mind so the best thing is you have to be prepared for the drawdown which should be two or three times and then accordingly you know do your capital and then trade it and i have so this strategy even though i have explained it in my blog in my videos i have you know got so many messages from guys who have been actually using this strategy and pinging me okay the last weeks i have made this profit and this week i this is a break even so it's not a you no know, a new strategy it's a known strategy but known to only you know few set of people who have been using it regularly so the main thing is you no know, as you said even though it is a simplified strategy i remember once richard dennis said tomorrow i can explain whatever you no know, i'm trading in a you no know, a plain newspaper but i bet nobody will you no know, follow that strategy so that is what richard dennis said long back because that is what actually happens so once people see you no know, three or four streaks of losses they'll think this strategy has stopped working and they'll not yeah. continue to do that so that is why i said even i can reveal all the strategy in my rules but there will always be certain percentage of people who are not yeah. used to the losses they'll quit and move on to another strategy yeah so definitely though it is simplified i'm sure this is going to make money if it is completely followed the rules are followed no diligently yep yeah yeah i agree so the so one thing is positional strategy and the other one is intraday strategy i wanted to cover both why i have started with positional strategy is the margin required for intraday and positional it's going to be same from september 2021 onwards so yeah. there is no big difference so i wanted to cover both positional as well as intraday so intraday it's it's even more simplified than positional so positional we have only one trade a week so with intraday it is a similar concept of short straddle where we short at the money call option and put option at 9:20 am so we don't need to do anything just log into your trading portal and check what is the actual price bank nifty spot price trading at 9:20 and then choose what is the ce and what is the pe place the trade with the 25% stop loss based on your executed price so if your executed price is 100 your stop loss will be 125 so you place both call option and put option place the trade wait for the stop loss to hit if the stop loss is not hit close the positions by 320 in the evening otherwise if any of the stop loss is hit in one leg similar to what we did in the positional part here also we will close only that leg and con continue to run the other one because once the stop loss is hit market is going to move in your one sided direction so the longer you hold the put option if the market is moving up the put option will keep decaying and going down and down so obviously you will make money from that but if you are closing both the positions then you will not make money over the longer period so during the back testing slide i will explain all these scenarios so what would be your overall mm -hmm. returns would look like if you close one positions if you close two positions all together or if you vary the stop loss so all these things i'll explain in back test part so but the rules are simple but on 9:20 you will initiate a trade and close it by eod with both call option and put option with 25% stop loss and only weekly expiry we are not going to trade monthly expiry in this one also okay so this is a example where no you take the bank nifty chart at 9:15 no value and find out what is the close price round it off so it was trading at around 31495 so the strike price is 31500 so if you round it off to the nearest 100 it is 31500 so we'll short both 31500 ce and 31500 p this is today's trade so this is how we short both the non call option and put option and we place a stop loss which is 25% from this entry price whatever no the entry price we have shorted it from that 25% is a stop loss whenever the stop loss is hit we are going to exit by eod so this strategy actually we deployed it as a bot one and which has been running live almost for 8 months and it has almost generated a good 80 to 900% returns overall but as you said when the strategy is simple what is you no know, the drawback here right i'll show you what is the drawback so this is the drawback where still people have faced i have faced huge loss following this specific strategy i have lost 15% so i am getting a streaks of losses already lost 30% of capital should i continue like i'm, I'm facing you no know, more drawdown and uh, my capital is almost lost and also i'm doubling up my capital so whenever there is a drawdown instead of trading two lots i trade four lots so all these scenarios will definitely come up in people's mind so whenever people say algo trading is something which will automatically decide the trend or you no know, completely remove human emotions definitely it will not remove human you know human emotions 
emotions will always be there so we will tend to override the system even jim simons once said no in 2007 when there was uh, no a big uh, volatility even they were able to they did override the system and even he said till date he is regretting for that decision because if he is not overridden the system definitely you know their drawdown would be much lesser they would have recovered fast but you no know, people like even jim simons is overriding the system obviously people like also also will do it right but the problem here is so why a same strategy which is given higher returns for some it, they are not able to handle it for some they are able to handle it because of the position sizing that i explained in the first slide so as you could see this is how you know the premium would look like on a day to day basis so monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and friday so friday being the start of a new expiry it will be usually 400 or 500 rupees then monday it will be 400 rupees that at the money premium and it will be 300 200 by the near to expiry it will be 150 so mm -hmm. we keep a 25% stop loss so if you are shorting at 400 rupees 100 rupees is a stop loss so if my stop loss is said i am going to lose 2500 rupees consider a worst case scenario where both your call option also at the stop loss put option also at the stop loss if that is also done then you are going to lose 5000 rupees so now if a guy who is trading no few months before when there was no mar no peak margin is introduced even with 50000 he can trade it right so if a guy traded with 50000 if two side of stop loss is it he is going to lose 5000 rupees but that is 10% of his capital whereas if the same strategy is you no know, deployed with 2 lakhs of capital he has lost only 3% so strategy is same rules are same but based on your capital your percentage of losses differs so that is why we should you know have always have a capital which is position sized accordingly so that even if the stop loss is hit on both the sides you are not going to lose much so that is why you could see the losses are minimal nearer to the expiry because the premium is lesser so days like tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays you are losing just 1% of your capital so even if both the sides stop loss is hit we are losing just 1% so that is how a capital should be decided so if you decide your capital based on the broker's margin obviously it is going to affect but if you decide the capital based on the actual strategies back test results and drawdown it is much easier to sell through the drawdown phase because drawdown phase is where most of the people will lose faith in the system either they'll quit or they'll jump they look for some other strategy and the same cycle will repeat but if you have no choose on the right capital then handling these losses is very very minimal so boy i think both the sides stop loss is not a big task for you so even if you consider the back test almost 198 days the stop loss is hit on both the sides but 768 days stop loss is hit on only one side so the hitting a stop loss on both the sides is very you know rare scenarios i mean minimal scenario but still over a long run this particular strategy is almost given you know 7 lakhs of gross profit with a maximum drawdown of 34000 and winning accuracy is also on a higher scale it is almost given now 67% winning accuracy with 13 days of maximum winning streaks and only 4 days of continuous losing streaks so we are also we are following a same capital requirement strategy so on a year on year basis if you check this is almost written positive returns every year almost every month but if you consider a transaction charges obviously there are months like january and february it can end up in losses considering the transaction charges so even with this strategy if you see the maximum drawdown is 35000 for one lot so we'll calculate the capital with the same scenarios so 1.7 lakhs so i am not considering the intraday margin now so intraday margin now required is just 1.2 lakhs or 1 lakh only for two short more short straddle but i'm considering a september margin now also so considering a september margin of 1.7 plus drawdown of 35000 no three times of drawdown it would be around 2.7 lakhs so even with the 2.7 lakhs this strategy has given a higher average returns than the positional one so this one has given almost 55% returns the other one was given 45% i guess so both the strategies are really good with respect to no returns to risk ratio so your risk are completely minimal and even with the capital of 2.75 we are still able to manage the risk because drawdown is 35 and we are having three times of the drawdown capital so it is much easier to you know sail through the drawdown phases so the strategy wise both are simple only kiru in this strategy if you said 25% is stop loss so if either of these two stop loss is hit then you square up the other other trade also no when the stop loss is hit whichever the stop loss is hit we are closing only that positions we are not going okay. to close the position of the other one 
So the other one, we'll leave it. We'll wait until the stop loss is hit, or we'll close by EOD. So just like the first strategy. Right, right, exactly. The same path. This is one as intraday, and that one is position. And uh, so, what if uh, in the first strategy on Tuesday we we sold both, and one of the stop loss get hit on Tuesday itself? Do we mm -hmm. carry that position for Wednesday? Yes. Only one yes. single position. Yes, yes, we'll carry it because the other position is also having a stop loss, right? So when that stop loss is hit. It, we are going to exit it. So in the back test, all these scenarios are considered where if both the stop losses hit on Tuesday, one stop loss is hit on Wednesday, other stop loss is hit. If both the stop losses hit, we are going to you know, lose both the sides. Considering all these things, still it ends up in profits on the longer run. So that is why we shouldn't consider on a trade to trade basis. Over the law of large numbers, it obviously you know, gives a positive returns. Can you know, please explain us how did we do that back testing? That is what I'm going to explain right now. So oh, wow. I usually, you know, use a platform called Stockmark, where oh. you know, most of all these simplified strategies can be back tested very easily. So you know, just like how we used to you know back test, um, I mean, just like how we used to uh, create our websites long back, five years, ten years down the line, using complete code. Now it's completely changed to you know draw, drag and drop. We don't need to really code to you know, come up with the conclusions. So this okay. specific stock market platform is not I'm not associated with it, but I you know it's just a platform which I regularly use. Mm -hmm. So I just go here. So here on the left hand side, you have all these strategies listed here. You could see. Yeah, yeah. Short straddle, short strangle. So which is a ready made kind of a strategy. You can just click. Say suppose we are going to test the strategy that I told you right now, the intraday strategy. So I have clicked okay. on short straddle. Here it shows me one lot. I can choose whatever the lot size, one lot or two lots. So I'm going to short one lot, which is sell. If I click here, it will change to buy. I'm going okay. to click sell. And I can choose other money options or OTM options. Like if I wanted to know short 200 points or 300 points away, I can choose that. And then I have to mention whether it is a call option or put option. Clicking it will change to call or put. So our rules is shorting uh, no ATM options and our stop loss is 25%. So we keep a 25% stop loss here. Then our rules is enter at 920. Then our exit is 1520. Okay. By EOD, we are going to exit on the same day. And we have selected Bank Nifty. Okay. So that is where bank nifty and weekly. So we you can have you no, know, we can test both monthly as well as weekly. So you're testing only weekly. Okay. And then you just have to give the from date and to date. So yeah, they have a data from 2017 to till date. So since the day the weekly option is introduced, they have this data. Since it is intraday, I have selected intraday. That's all. I just have to run start back test. So that would keep scanning all this data and find out what are the list of days that these conditions are met and the total metrics and everything it would scan for you and then it would give you the results in uh, it would display the results at the bottom of the page so you can wow. modify any of the things so there is no coding required here there is uh, no even with anyone who doesn't have any technical background can run the strategy so exactly wow. that is what so fast so you yeah so you get it so you get the overall profits you get all the metrics draw down here and you have you know the year wise whatever things that you know the, the one that we saw you have a month on month the profitable chart so if you click here since inception it would tell you okay if you could see the rates so it means on a monthly wise obviously the profits are very very you know the more profits are there and you could see the drawdowns also here if you click on drawdown that would tell you what is the drawdown looks like nice so only this March last two months it was really bad for the strategy because the drawdown so that that is why I said see if you could test it till only 2020 by this this particular period the drawdown was only 20,000 correct yeah but 2021 the drawdown has came down to 37,000 so if someone tested the strategy in 2020 and thinking only 20,000 is a maximum drawdown it, it could be in a surprise because the drawdown has crossed its previous maximum drawdown so that is why we are always prepared for three times of drawdown. Got it. Got it. Is this a and, pre 
uh they have uh, no it's kind of a premium i think uh, you can buy credits i think so based on the number of you know the back tests that you run they charge it i don't, I don't think the charges is at a very high cost it's very minimal only i think right so it's kind of a four credits so it means that if i'm running for one complete year i'm going to spend one rupee if i'm going to you know run it for 10 years i'm going to just uh, you know spend 10 rupees so it's very wow. very minimal and this is very interesting i am going to see this website myself Very definitely, definitely it will help. So this is where the conditions. You can change the conditions to whatever conditions. So I am going to give. So I want to run the first strategy into this back test first strategy. Yes, first strategy. So this is what the first strategy. Now you can save the strategy also. So my strategy is I am selling both the call options and the put option, and yes. my stop loss is hundred percent, and I have selected Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty weekly, weekly. Here I have selected positional. So last time I have selected intraday, right? Now I have selected positional, and I can give the entry date where two days before expiry. Oh. And I'm going to exit on the day of expiry. As I said in the no 9:30 is my entry time. We are leaving it for the expiry till 15:29. Hmm. So all these conditions, whatever we said, and run a back test. Same period 2017 to 2021 for Bank Nifty. so people can customize it as per their need say suppose we have given a strategy if someone finds it okay instead of using this stop loss or i can use this targets so they can completely change it and test it this is it so you get the results so it's 5.7 lakhs profits the maximum profit and all this data metrics you get it so this is completely similar to what we saw in the intraday thing so the drawdown things the overall profits and you also get to see the entry time exit time at what is the overall profit to profit basis on a, on a expiry to expiry what is the total profits so everything you can get to know the complete data will be available on a click of a button so this is how back test is done interesting and this uh, back testing stock mock is only for options back, back testing or it's for it's no it's only it's only for back test it's only for back test interesting cool so you can so i'll uh, explain the execution part so how do you execute that's also important because that is ID that is what that is what we're going to see now yeah and can we automate automate the execution process yes so i'll explain how we are going to execute this specific strategy now so all i have to do is i should go to square of bots what exactly is square of what is it square of bots so whatever the strategy that i explained to you right so my job is to create strategy so i sit and create strategy so much so at one point of beyond certain stage of time you know they say good trading is boring right so my trading is done so i don't keep you no know, doing any of the stuff but i keep developing multiple strategies and then i deploy it in my own account and test it whether it is really good or not and once i see a satisfactory results then i go mm-hmm. and you know try to run it so so that is what so we'll come you no know, we'll get started with this execution part so execution is like you no know, with square of bots it's simplified you no know, trading strategies whatever strategies i develop i try to automate it and provide it to the users so all their users have to do is just log into these bots and specify their capital or lot size to them so based on the you know prerequisite strategies that i explain the execution happens in their own account oh so you just have to log in with your facebook or google and then it would ask you your alice blue user id or password since i have already logged into alice blue user id password it did not ask me on that's all you just have to log in with your broker credential and authenticate it then you will see all the list of bots equity bots futures bots and everything so you just have to go so the bank nifty straddle bot so that is what it was running so today i opened and gave an input so just have to click the lot size whatever the lot size you just enter the lot size what about the lot and click on mod i mean trade it so once you enter the lot size and run it it would keep running and you could see it in the orders window whatever the orders that are placed by the bot you can see it in case if you are trading on your own you can segregate between the bots orders and your orders wow. there is no specific uh, no requirement as such so we been doing it since the last one year and we post only the live performance so you could see the live performance of all the bots so we have a very limited users and with this limited users we were able to make almost 1.7 crores of total profit for the all the bot users so we display everything in here so 
so the the what uh, bots details the bots profits everything they would be able to see it here they just have to select the respective bots so this is the bank nifty straddle board that i explained right so this is where the returns are so as you said it, it was still very good till february mid and then it started sliding down this is where people will lose their conviction and stop trading but eventually people who were holding on to it were able to make profit and eventually no it moved up so that is why i said even simplified strategies make money but nobody know is able to stick to it there are some people able to stick to it but some people know don't be able to stick to it and the next one is the option x platform which you know we just started it's almost ready it should be you know ready by this week to most of the users there is no specific charges for this so it will be completely free of cost because people can just come in log in and just copy paste whatever the respective link that's also it's i'll just show you so we use the stock mark app right so in stock mark we are able to create a strategy and click on copy and we come here and paste it submit it so this will automatically generate the list of orders that is necessary so if it is your zeroda account you click and place it similarly if it is angel account you click and place it so okay. this is not at open right but this will definitely help a lot of users who are working professionals who cannot know check their uh, atms or uh, whatever the other money options everything can be done here on a click of a button you just have to copy paste your strategy first you have to back test it copy the link paste it here click and execute no specific uh, no um, code is required even if someone who is working professional who cannot come and click at that specific time they can also automate the complete strategy so they just have to go and automate it and specify the time so you click on automate and enter whatever the strategy you wish from the drop down whatever the quantity that you want and enter the time at which time you wanted to execute this specific strategy that's it click add it will automatically execute the orders in your account so there is no specific uh, conditions that is required interesting this is quite interesting i think technology is going to a next level for sure uh, yes yes but the only handful of brokers are basically allowing this automatic trading right yeah very uh, no the thing is most of the brokers are giving api right now but only a handful of brokers are giving free api so brokers like fires allies blue these guys are giving free api so when it is free api the cost is drastically reduced because in 2014 when i started it was i almost spent one and a half lakhs to automate the strategy alone so now it's completely free and more and more people have started you no know, focusing on this automation stuff because once people start focusing on rule based and follow it disciplinedly definitely that is when you no know, most of the people will not go bust so as a broker they can acquire the users but as a platform providers like us can help them to retain the users because acquiring is easier task but the retaining is where the actual cash flow comes in for the from, for them as well as it helps the retail traders like right? so obviously you know when people get used to it on the longer run no they can okay these are the things they first need to get educated okay these are the things that is required in order to know what works what doesn't work second we have to make it much simplified so now as i said you now the back test is more simplified part where you don't need to do anything click click enter the details you get the results once you get the results copy paste it here and you run it so everything is more simplified now so that is where they're going to know the trend is going to be so definitely people would love it but the problem with this is finally that uh, holding on to your nerve when the going is tough especially the initial time right 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 have, right right you have to believe your model you have, once you have done the back testing and you know that it is a workable model then you have to believe it and run it for a longer period of time right definitely so the, the thing is no even before when i started i almost quit trading in 2016 so even i had all this trading systems everything automated on its own but i almost quit trading because i was trading on a borrowed money so it was it was like when your capital is i mean when your salary is 50000 you will be trading with 5 lakhs so obviously the position sizing all this emptm fluctuations you will always relate to it it will be like okay i have lost 50000 i have lost 1 lakh okay this is my 5 month salary this is my 1 month salary so you always get used to that no comparison like people can easily find it and the one guy who can easily find out whether you are in drawdown or not is your wife 
so he can know easily find out whether this guy is making a profit today or making a loss seeing your face so but eventually you know it will get stopped so whether you know they always say a good trader after making a you no know, good profit he feels good but a great trader after making a great trade he feels nothing so that is where the emotion states will come in so eventually at one point of time you will not feel anything whether it is a profit or a loss you will trade it wisely but the good thing is as you said one take one strategy trade it for 100 days don't increase your capital or decrease your capital have enough capital trade for 100 days only one strategy and whenever after the trade is done mark it in your excel if you have followed the strategy give one mark if you have not followed the strategy give minus one mark after 100 trades if your rank is above 90 you're good so that That's is how you have to follow it what beautiful hack you have given fantastic i would seriously recommend everyone to do this then only your temperament side of the market which is i think very very critical will get developed otherwise uh, how will you develop discipline if naturally you are not a disciplined person very true very true that, that is why the discipline has to be you know developed after you know, the market house not before the market house so the moment the moment you know start so if you are not a disciplined trader if you are not a successful trader go for a walk or go to a gym or no start cycling regularly that will ultimately bring in you know the discipline to your life start having a screen time or start waking up in the morning by 6 going to bed at 10 o'clock even if you follow that those disciplines will automatically come into trading life absolutely i totally agree to this point and i have witnessed myself and the change which has <laughs> happened to me because of this i'm very happy uh, that uh, you are sharing the same wisdom with all of us so kiru uh, fantastic i just loved it so very very simple but very effective and as you also said that simple things work wonderful in market just that you have to believe it definitely definitely thank you so much vivek for giving me this opportunity i'm sure people will love it in case they have any specific questions if they do not understand it let them post it in the comments i'll come and respond to them that would be so nice of you because i'm sure you will get a lot of comments good as well as bad and i will be expecting you to reply to all of them and friends uh, you know where to where to connect with him his twitter handle his blog his telegram channel is right here uh, connect with him Uh, feel free to talk to him. Uh, figure out if this is a product which you want to have it. I have no commercial interest. I just believe that he is doing good thing, and if you feel it will help you long term in your wealth creation, go and grab the opportunity and connect with him. Thank you, Kiru, for this beautiful content. I am sure this Thank will you, go a long way and become part of the fantastic content on quant and algo trading, which retail investors will remember forever. Sure, Vivek. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you, friends, for giving your time to me and supporting me and my team. And uh, uh, we have more people lined up for this theory of rule-based trading. So stay tuned and keep sharing our work with other people. Bye bye.